Okay. Also, in these documents that were that I had freedom of information, it said that you wouldn't tell the community or the parents about the testing depending upon the sophistication of your school district. Okay? What does that mean exactly? Right. Depending <laughs> upon the sophistication of your school district. So um, they, they just really crossed the wrong person because, you know, I immediately jumped on this situation because I realized what was really happening. It was so deceptive, you wouldn't believe it, John. For instance, they would say, don't you want your children to have good citizenship? Don't you want them to have honesty and integrity? Right? Don't you want them to cooperate with others? Don't you want them to be a good citizen? And everyone was saying yes. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So when I found the evaluation for citizenship, they were testing thresholds of compliance by reward and punishment. It was a total BF Skinner model that I can prove. And they were scoring attitudes, values, opinions, dispositions, personalities of children. So this, this was the beginning of my journey and it was, I felt betrayed. I felt just, I felt like I was in the twilight zone because you're reading these papers that say for self-esteem, they were gonna test whether the child was internally influenced or externally influenced. And it was all scored toward collectivism. You bet. The whole entire test was scored toward collectivism. So when I found the scoring, they would give children hypothetical situations, little stories. So one of the questions was, there's a, there's a club called the Midnight Artist. They go out late at night and paint funny sayings on buildings. You would join the club when you knew, number one, your best friend asked you to join. The whole entire test is geared toward willingness to comply, willingness to go along with the group. In that particular question, would you join the club? You got one point for yes. You got zero for no. So if you said you would not go out and vandalize, that was a behavioral weakness. You got a zero. What? All I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Zero. They wanted you to comply with the group. Now, because it's reward and punishment, the last question in that little scenario was, uh, well, the second one was, if all of the people in your, all of your friends would join, would you join? Again, collectivism, going along with the group. You got one point if you did it. So the last one, it really confused me for a while because I'm looking at the scoring. And the last question was, your parents would ground you if they found out that you joined or that you did this. Well, the state desired response was, was no. And I thought, well, why, okay, if this is geared toward collectivism, why would the federal government want you to obey your parents, right? But that's not what they were looking for. What they were looking for was would you obey authority? If punishment is incurred, will you obey? Will you comply? So the whole entire system is based on B.F. Skinner, reward and punishment, and going along with the group, willingness to obey. And I have all this in writing from the contracts, of course. So, but anyway, this was my journey. Okay, so. John, I'm sitting here thinking, they're scoring these tests. What on earth are they doing with the data? 